Hello world, I'm Rich. This is Rich's World Beer Tour. Tonight, after a long day at work, it's a cold Minnesota evening, got something uh, special here. Uh, limited release, special limited release ale from the Boulevard Brewing Company, Kansas City, Missouri. The Rye on Rye from their Smokestack series. Um, only 4,123 cases were produced. And this is the 2013 release, 12% uh, ABV. There's what you're looking for, if you can get it. Now, I'm not sure why the nice round number of 4,123, maybe if you multiply that out, it comes out to some uh, odd number or some even number, but uh, um, I've had some really good beers from uh, Boulevard in the past. Never tried this one. This is batch number 2013-4 and it's best by date December 2014. Um, what they've got is a grain using uh, the rye grain. Uh, this is 33% ale and 67% ale aged in rye whiskey barrels. So they take a rye ale uh, using the, the rye grain and then they're aging it in rye whiskey barrels. So rye, the rye on rye. <clears throat> so this should be interesting. Um, like I said, I've never had this before, but I wanted to try it, saw it, and uh, wanted to give it a try. I've only had a couple of rye uh, beers in my life, and they've been uh, pretty good. So uh, something different. There we go. A little smoke. Nice little cork there. Uh, it's about 50 degrees is what we've got it at uh, which is quite a bit warmer than the temperature is outside right now in Minnesota going with our Duvel glass so we can uh, uh, get a good nose on it oh that's an interesting color there is a lot of carbonation uh, this beer is erupting uh, boy that is a tangerine a golden a red I don't know if I've got the right color. Uh, take uh, tangerine red and gold and mix them together. I'm not sure if you can see that. I have got to get a side light so you can see the the uh, the right color here. But it is a, a golden red, um, and it's got a nice tan uh, finger and a half head on there. Beautiful pour. I can see the the bubbles coming off the etching on the bottom of the Duvel glass really uh, throwing up a lot of carbonation there. This looks pretty. 12% ABV. Uh, this is going to be one that uh, on a cold night like this you're going to sip it, enjoy it uh, for the evening. If it, hopefully it's good. Um, wow. Fruit, fruity flavor. The, the, when we've tried some of the Belgian ales that are a combination of two, two good beers um, get that fruit flavor. This has definitely got that. You can smell the rye, the, the rye whiskey. There's, a, there's a, an alcohol uh, component to the nose. But bread, uh, the uh, oak, uh, some vanilla in there. But a lot of it is the, the rye, the, the oak, and the uh, and that fruit, a uh, very fruit uh, smell in there. Really nice, uh, nice uh, head. Still a lot of bubbles, a lot of carbonation coming up, and then uh, a good nose. Cheers. Let's give it a try. Wow, that is nice. Um, I have really had a good week here on uh, on the beers that I've been able to review. I've had some real treats. Um, very nice, caramely uh, at the start. Uh, the fruits and the caramel in there. There's definitely at the right at the start is where the the alcohol hits you. Uh, it's uh, at 12%, you're, you're going to feel it. Again, that's a good sipper, but you get that whiskey, uh, that rye and whiskey, kind of a, a, the spiciness from the rye. Um, and then at the very end, I'm tasting the alcohol, but in between, it goes to bread and caramel. Uh, you taste some of the oakiness, uh, but there's a fruitiness in there.
There's a lot going on. This is a treat. This is, yeah, the, here, here it is, in, in order, the, the, the whiskey and that uh, rye, the oak, then it, it does mellow out caramels, vanilla, toffee in there, um, the breads and fruitiness right in the middle, and the brown sugar, and then the more, the more I talk, the more you breathe, that alcohol comes back at the end. Um, it's not overpowering, not overpowering alcohol. It's just a warmth um, that you're tasting. Really complex, but it goes from that, the boo and I, I don't want to uh, sound like it, it's, it's boozy, but the, the booziness of it, then all the flavors and everything that mingles, and then it ends with that little booziness, alcohol taste, uh, um, heavy carbonation, medium mouthfeel to it. Um, this is a good beer. I'm going to go out and try to find another bottle. Um, see if I can get another bottle out of the 4,123 cases. This is really nice. Maybe uh, uh, mature it until uh, uh, 2014 and try it. Um, I'm going 9.5. Again, I, I don't know if I found the perfect beer, but I've had some lately that have been 9.5s, and this is one of them. This is really good. Um, grab a bottle if you can. Grab, or, grab two bottles. Share it with a friend. The uh, Boulevard... The Rye on Rye from the Boulevard Brewing Company, Kansas City, Missouri. Again, here's what you're looking for. Give that a try. This is uh, a 9.5 in my book. I'm going to be sipping this into the evening, a cold night here in Minnesota. Um, this is going to be a nice sipper to keep me warm. Um, beautiful look and a, and a really nice beer. Hey, Boulevard, you done, you done good. Thanks for sharing a beer with me. Really appreciate your, uh, your viewership and uh, all the comments. So check this one out. Leave some comments. I want to hear what you're uh, tasting, if you really like it as well as I did. But I love this one. Uh, 9.5. Uh, the Rye on Rye. Thanks for sharing a beer with me, world. Cheers.